<laughs> it is 6 30 a.m and luke just started making a little noise so um Christopher is going to go grab him and then hand him off to me so he can get ready a little bit. And this is a day in our lives homeschooling five kids. Good morning. Did you wake up? One of the fun things about mornings with Luke is that he takes his baths the night before <laughs> and he hasn't had any meals yet. So this is basically the like cleanest he is <laughs> right, right after his bath and then he goes to bed and then first thing in the morning before he has breakfast. <laughs> this is his freshest. This is when he doesn't have food in his hair yet because he likes to rub food in his hair, huh? Is that fun? Is that so fun? <laughs> I love you, you are the cutest little guy. You are so cute. So in the mornings we kind of hang out and he makes fun of my Breathe Right strip because it's so funny. Bye. Nose, let's see mama's nose. Nose, nose. And then he starts to climb this thing. My job is to make sure he doesn't leap off the bed. Because <laughs> he's always trying to leap off the bed, huh? <laughs> he mixes it up. He cuddles with me, and then he, like, makes a run for it. Huh, mister? Huh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and then he also loves to climb this part of our bed, which is, like, cute and fine, but it kind of makes me nervous because there's a gap here right there and and he could just like like zoom right through that so i always like this is this is just what i do every morning this is just honest parenting <laughs> like every morning i'm kind of protecting him from falling through this gap while he does this is that so cool is that so cool yeah yeah but he tries to climb that every morning and i like hold him every morning. <laughs> this is how we start <laughs> I love you, Cuddle Bug. <laughs> I love you. Good morning, Cuddle Bug. Good morning. <laughs> and I think Christopher is almost ready, so it'll be time for brush teeth. Go brush teeth with, with Daddy. You want to brush teeth with Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna do it? Brush those teeth. Oh, brush those teeth. Yeah. Ooh, good brushing. Brush, brush, brush. Done. Now Christopher's popping into the shower and Lukey and I are gonna read some books. And I expect Duncan to wake up probably in like 15 or 30 minutes. And then Parker happens next. And then this morning I'll probably wake up Bailey and Jacob because they have an earlier class on this day. Usually Luke has one of his therapies at 8 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And like it just switches around a little bit, but Today he doesn't have one, so we have a little extra time, which is nice. Huh, buddy? Okay, we're gonna read some books now. Mika, who's that? Who's that cutie? You! It's a Luke. Pika. Oh, okay, you'll do it, okay. Pika. <laughs> Pika no. Pika Ew, it's Luke. Huh? Yeah. So 
so cute. Yeah. Ooh, where's the bunny? Is that the mama bunny? Oh, let's go back to you. <laughs> Pika. Ooh. Ooh. Pika. Upside down. Ooh. Oh. Very nice. Pika. 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 Yeah. <gasps> you. You. So cute. Back to the bunny. You become a mountain climber, said the little bunny. I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, I will be a gardener. <laughs> oh, you want to read them at the same time? It's hard to make choices, I know. Why don't I do this one and you do that one? Does that sound good? Okay, the runaway bunny. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. A switch. Pika. Do you see daddy? Boo. <laughs> Nose. <laughs> you go downstairs and play with daddy or are you just going to do downstairs? books all day? Do you want to get food? <laughs> yeah, food. Okay. Daddy will go get some food with you. Come on. Let's go get food. Go to daddy for food. <laughs> so the kids like these veggie sausages and veggie bacons. We've got a lot of kids, so I make it on the griddle. How's the sausage this morning, sir? Pretty tasty? Yeah. Yeah? Got sausage, you've got eggs, you've got bacon. That's a meal. <laughs> the morning started. Parker woke up. Hi. Good morning. How are Hi. you? I'm good. Oh, look who just woke up. Who is it? Duncan. Duncan. You want some sausage and bacon and eggs? Come on down. What do you got there? What are you bringing from your room? Is that a boat? Uh, well, this is the spaceship. And, uh -huh. and this is the boat. Okay. Well, the boat perches the plane to a place oh. and and then the, when he's done when the boat's done just goes to another place did you build this all by yourself yeah i didn't need a yeah. magazine no magazines yeah duncan calls instructions lego instructions magazines because they look they look like magazines so we almost always keep luke in his like nighttime pajamas until he's done with his breakfast because he's a little bit messy when he eats and we know we're going to change his clothes after breakfast. So we just keep him in his jammies and then change him. Are you cleaning yourself up? Are you all clean? Are you cleaning yourself up after breakfast? Oh no, don't clean my tea. Clean mommy's tea. I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's get you changed, mister. There you go. All dressed. All dressed, all clean. Ready for your day, mister? You gonna play with the ball? You gonna throw it? 
Ooh, good throw. Good throw. Whoa, that was a big throw. You gonna throw it again? Whoa, whoa. Can you throw mama the ball? Oh, good one. Very responsible in the house. Whoa, good one. Good one. And you. Oh, Mickey with the interception. And now Duncan is grabbing his reading lesson. Oh boy. So it's your first read of the story. Here you go. Put your finger on the ball and read the story. Uh, um. Now remember, it's two. Di this is two different words. So this is a word, and then this is a new word. Good job. All right, now you're going to read it a second time and I'll ask you questions. Ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, oops. It's okay. Uh, it's all right, don't worry about it. A man is. Mm -hmm. What's the first sound? I'm covering it. Oh, I see a little bit. Mm. Okay. Where was I Right there. there. Mm -hmm. uh, sat. Sat. A man sat. A man sat. Where did the man sit? In the sand. And <laughs> you knew that one. All right, keep going. A uh, little. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, mm, the end. Mm, what's the last sound? Ah. Uh, mm, the. Hmm. Hmm. What is that sound? <laughs> Mmm. At, at. You sing. You sound it out very slowly. Do each sound. Jacob's awake. Would you be interested in the eggs, bacon, or sausage? Yeah, I'll take some. Okay, Duncan. Here's the sound you're going to write today. Duncan, what is that sound? Good. Okay, you're going to trace mommy's three times and then write it yourself three times, okay? Now you start at the top up here and you go down. Up. Uh. You ready? Yeah. Good. Come on over here. Three times on mommy's and then do three of your own.
all checked. Good it's job. Me. Very nice. And you are done with your reading lesson. Clean well, up your book. Can I do two more? We can maybe do one later today, but we need to spread it out and give your brain a break, okay? No. <laughs> you need a brain break. You can't do too much. I'm gonna count to three. You need to put your book away. One, two, good boy. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Lukey's helping over in the school shelves. So I wanted to note that I don't expect all of my kids to start reading at three. Bailey did with this same book that Duncan's using. And Duncan's brain seems to be wired in like a similar way. And he's doing really well with this book. Oh, and this book is called A um, Hundred Easy Lessons to Teach Your Child to Read. I have tried it with all of my kids and Parker and Jacob have been more successful with a program called All About Reading. And I think it just sort of depends on like how our brains are wired. This program I'm using right now was really frustrating for them. And it was just like, it led to them kind of just not being very happy with what they were doing. And I want reading to be like a really good experience. So we switched to All About Reading for them. And it's been a really good program for them. I just try to go by like where my kids are at and how eager they are. I don't want them to feel like really forced or uncomfortable or like, upset about reading. I want them to like really love it. So this has worked for a couple of my kids at really young ages. And then my other two kids progress just in a different way with a different book. I don't want anybody to watch this and like feel pressured. Like it's typical for all children to just be exactly like this. It's kids are all different and they learn in their own ways. So, and it's not because like I'm a great teacher either. Like they're just different and they learn differently and at, in a different pace and that's it. <laughs> Bailey's awakey. How's it going, Bailey? Good. You're gonna have a great day? Yeah. Yes. So at this point, the kids usually are doing some uh, schoolwork. They have some like lessons that they do on the computer. All right, they are mowing the lawn at this park, so it's probably gonna be a little loud in the background, but I decided to take Luke on a little walk because it's his favorite thing to do. He brings me his carrier all the time. He brings this, like, drags this over to me and goes, ba, ba, which I think is his way of saying walk or trying to say walk. And we go on at least one walk a day. Sometimes we go on two walks a day. Today might be one of those days because usually we do it in the afternoon, but he was kind of grumpy and he's got a music class coming up and I wanted to cheer him up a little bit. And I know he loves walks. Duncan came with us for a very important reason. Why did you want to come on this walk? Because I want to see that snake. He wants to see a snake. On yesterday's walk, Bailey found a snake and it was trying to get out of the road, but it couldn't get over the curb. So she picked it up and put it in the grass. So we're on the lookout for a snake. Look. I doubt we'll see one, but we'll, we'll keep a lookout. Look. We just got back from our walk. We're gonna set up our music class. You ready? For music class? Music class. Yeah. It's our time to sing together. Right? Music class. <laughs> and while Luke is in his yeah. music class, Bailey and Jacob take a really fun acting class where they like write their own fan fiction scripts based on Harry Potter and then act them out. And it's online with kids like from all over the world. And I really love that. It's very cool. And it's the same kids more or less each week. So they're like making friends from all over the world. And it's so cool, right? You're gonna do class right there? Yeah. You're gonna have your Lego build in the background? Sure. Look at this massive Lego set. Jacob and Parker built this. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going. You're gonna show this on your channel, right? I think so. All right, Jake's logging into class. Have a good fan fiction class. Mm -hmm. Ooh, stretchy, Ooh. stretchy baby. Oh, we're gonna stretch like this. We're gonna stretch all morning. And stretch. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, 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 Thank 
Chicken is over here doing a puzzle in his little fort. How's your puzzle, dude? Good. While Bailey and Jacob are in their class and Duncan's doing his puzzle and Luke's in music class, Parker's in here doing a story time class. And he does this three times a week with kind of the same kids. It's really sweet. How's it going, Parker? So he has the same teacher doing story time for a half hour, three times a week, and it's the same kids, and they get a new story each day, usually. If it's kind of longer, they'll, they'll go into two days, but usually it's a new one each day. Is this puzzle missing a few pieces? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good job. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Puzzle. Okay, put this one away first. What are you working on now, buddy? Uh, this baby one. Aw, that's a pretty cool one, huh? Yeah. So it shows all the different stages of the baby growing inside the mama. I really love these layered puzzles. They're super neat. It's a company called Hapa that makes them. And they're just really neat and a little extra complicated. The only downside is we, we lose the pieces. <laughs> But that's more on us than the puzzle. It's not their fault. Uh, I have a good fun one that didn't get lost pieces yet. Yeah, the farm one's cool. And we also have a seasons one. That's cool because it shows different phases of life. And I lost all the pieces of the, of the season one. Yeah, we lost a lot of those pieces, huh? All of them. All of them. <laughs> this puzzle company does like scenes that layer. Um, in really like interesting creative ways and then they also have like seasons of life like this one's a pregnancy one and then we also have a seasons one that's really cool and like each like there's a winter scene and then spring and summer like it's just really neat i don't know why but specifically these puzzles we tend to lose the pieces of maybe it's because they don't like lock into place so when they spill they kind of like spill everywhere some of the pieces are just like slivers of things so they don't look like puzzle pieces and I think some it's hard to like match them back up with where they belong sometimes. But I really like them overall. Like I think they're really neat. Hey, did you finish a class? Yeah. What book did you guys read? Uh, how to trick catch a dragon. How to catch a dragon? Mm-hmm. Oh cool. How was it? It's a good book. This is like the starter for crochet, but I just like making them in really long rows because it looks really cool. Parker's made a little clip for himself and he has the braids <laughs> coming down. Is each one your height? No, there's only one that's my height right now. It's this one. Okay. <laughs> this one is about half my height here. This one. But, yeah. I made this all in my class and I'll go grab a ball that I made. I made a ball. You finished! <laughs> Good job. I'm gonna do another. Okay, go put this one away. So this is the ball, it's pretty small. I didn't crochet enough, I need to like crochet some more. Um, but this is my starter ball. I think I might make like s balls out of this and sell them and get money from it. Okay. Um, so is it like a ball that you throw or something? Like what's the ultimate? use for this ball. You can throw it, you can't bounce it. You can no. use it for your cat or something. <laughs> okay. They're actually just a string that I like make bigger, but I have to get a lot of it. Okay, we're gonna do a quick cleanup break because I'm seeing behind us, there's a plastic bag that goes in the bag's container and then a shirt that might be laundry and shoes behind that bin. See how fast you can clean up that hallway. Oh. 
Duncan, you ran past everything. And I think that Christmas bin can probably be taken up to my bedroom. We put our Christmas stuff away like right away, but it's actually been really helpful to have a bin that's been out because we keep finding like little remnants of Christmas around the house. <laughs> and it's been nice to be able to have a bin because when we find the Christmas thing, we put it right in the bin and it's been collecting kind of like extras. And I even see like, I think I see something right now because that's how we are. <laughs> We've got a lot of Christmas in this house. Like it has worked really well to have just like a bin for the extra Christmas stuff and extra holiday things because we also have like a little, little bit of Valentine stuff. We really go big on Christmas. Hey, that looks so much nicer. Thank you, Parker. Luke is finishing up music class right now and he will go from music class to his nap. And then Bailey and Jacob will be close to done with their class. We're gonna take Jacob out a little bit early today, like five minutes early because he has an orthodontist appointment. So he's just gonna go in like very quickly and get his retainer adjusted. And at 11 o'clock, Duncan has a little preschool class and it's very cute. And today is Play-Doh day. What are you building now? A birdhouse. Very cool. Okay, this is gonna be your last puzzle because it's your preschool time next. Okay. Ooh. I really want to do this with the birds. Uh, catch one with this birdhouse and then put the birdhouse down so the birds can't get out. Oh, you want to catch a bird in that? Yeah. Do you think the birdie would miss flying? No, if I do, do this, it will fly. Oh, so you just want to catch it for a little bit? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, this one doesn't seem to have any windows or anything. That seems kind of sad, don't you think? Just watch this. I, so birdhouses aren't usually for catching. They're more for like offering food to the bird as they stop by, you know? Mm -hmm. Bonus puzzle. Don't you think the putting away part is kind of like a bonus puzzle? Yeah. Time for night night, mister. I think he picked out a book for his story. That's a great book. That's a great one. Let's do this. Let's put your mat down so it keeps everything clean and tidy. Clean. Thank you for finding the mat. You're welcome. When there is a lull in our day. <laughs> oh, I just need a second you'll, cup. You'll find us desperately making coffee and tea yeah. and trying to get a little food. That's <laughs> like parent scavengers when there's like 15 minutes where all is quiet. I made a breakfast burrito out of the extra eggs from this morning. Like, <laughs> I, I always looked at my dad. My dad would go to a restaurant and order a uh, soda and nothing else. And I always thought that was so weird. And I'd watch him just like wait. <laughs> <laughs> and like my mom and my sisters, whatever they didn't eat, he would just pull the plate over and that was his dinner. And But he had always had more food than the rest of us because he did that. But I always thought that was so weird. And, that, and now I'm doing it. I'm just making the leftovers breakfast burrito. <laughs> just off the scraps the kids leave me. Dad food life. And here's some tea I actually made Parker. And it was too hot. And now it's probably cold enough. And I'm gonna start some tea up for myself. Hey sir, why are you in class? Uh, I got out early so I could get ready for uh... For orthodontist? All right, yeah. we were gonna get you. You didn't have to get out this early. It's okay, I need to get ready and stuff. Okay, all right, go get ready. Are you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, you got your retainer on already? Let's see it. Prepared. Did you wear it throughout class? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, you wanna go get socks on? Okay, go for it. What are you making? R R R R. What sound does that make? R R. Good. R. Want to see me do the the big one? Sure. Yeah. 
Jacob and Christopher are about to leave for the orthodontist appointment. And while they're gone, I am going to make some lunch for the kids and have it ready for when Jacob comes home. We're in California and one of my friends has a ton of orange trees. We went to her house the other day. They were masked and not with us. It wasn't like a play date. It was an orange date. And the kids got to pick a ton of oranges from her trees. And we've been feasting on oranges ever since that. So these are all the oranges we have. And I'm gonna be slicing a ton of those up for their lunch. And I think just making like PB and J's other than that, maybe carrots. I think Jacob's turned orange from all the oranges we've been consuming. I've only got an orange shirt. And shorts, dude. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> all right, Jake just finished at the orthodontist. How'd it go? Good. Very brief visit, very quick but uh, got his retainer checked, looking good. And I wanted to point this out, Jacob asked about this a second ago, is this thing right up here. This one? Yeah, so this is, I think it's for wipes, like a wipes container, but Jessica filled it up with masks. So whenever you need a mask, you just bloop, pop out a mask like that, and then we wash them and zip them back up in there. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm sure a lot of people have been doing that and she saw it online somewhere or something, but like, I thought it was a really good idea, so I'm gonna credit Jessica with that one. We're gonna say she's the inventor. She's not. I'm aware of that, but she's the one that introduced me to it, so. Bloop. Jacob just got back. How did it go? Good. And Duncan's done with his preschool. Parker's not in any classes anymore. Bailey is still in class, um, and she'll probably be in class for like an hour, so she'll get lunch a little bit later. However, I did finish making their little feast, and I finished our jam, like I used everything in this jar, and I wanted to show this company because this is what we'll often use. It's one of our favorites. It's not the only one we use, but these jars are actually so cute if you just wash them off and the labels come off like really easily. I don't know if you've ever repurposed jars before, but some of the labels are really hard to get off and you're like getting out your Google on and you're like scrubbing them off but these come off really easily and the jars are adorable they actually make really nice cups and they work kind of nicely for temporary storage because the lids are really cute too these are jars that we just about always will rinse out and save and reuse either for like little storage in the fridge or as cups or as like a paint jar for like your paint brushes they're just like really nice oh colorful yeah, this is mine, um, and I really like it. It's you really nice. You can like triple it and make a whole blanket out of them. I think yes. I'm going to triple it. Yeah, and you can also do like a crochet and make a blanket out of it if you want. I can teach but you how to do it. It was like a really long string in order to do like a blanket. Yeah, I this one was like here to there, but wow. then it went to this. Yeah, that's why you got to use the whole entire thing. Hey guys, are you ready for lunch? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> no! And Luke is still in nap and he will be for a little while. So. Luke will eat lunch closer to when Bailey eats lunch. And the boys really wanted to listen to Chronicles of Narnia today at the table, so. You don't have to put the whole thing in your mouth, dude. Smaller bites, smaller bites. So we have a couple of minutes before uh, Grandma's story time starts and the kids are having lunch and then they're gonna go play outside. And while they do that, I'm gonna get some editing done. Because it's either this right now or doing all of it at night after the kids go to sleep. And I'm tired. I just finished my classes and they were really fun and I love my classes, and um, now I'm just gonna go eat some lunch.
I've been doing the dishes while the boys were playing outside and Bailey came in and had lunch and is back in class. And it's a shorter class, so she'll be back down to say hello. And I think she said she's gonna have some outside playtime after because she's been staring at a screen like all day. So that's really good, good for her. This is a busy day for her. Like it's very full with her various Zoom classes. It's not always as full. She's just a very passionate young lady who wants to learn like everything. So she's always asking to sign up for more and more classes and <laughs> she's busy like she's up doing her classes a lot of the time um, and then she also has other homeschooling classes that we do so she just like she takes on a lot but overall she really enjoys it and then when she has free time she really does love to like be outside and be in nature or read a book or she's also learning piano so she does that she does a lot of things we don't necessarily like see her that often but she's like doing stuff all the time and i think that's really cool grandma gave me this book and she said you're we used to read it to your daddy when he was little wait that's so, how old that's sesame street is that's how old sesame street is i thought it like just oh, yeah, like Sesame Street's three. been around a long time. Yeah, I thought it came Grandpa, out like we, we three years ago. Grandpa, we couldn't see you. Like Have you ever watched Sesame Street, Duncan? Um, a little. Did you just wake up from your nap, little sweetie? Did you wake blood. up? I have some food for you when you're done, and Grandpa's doing story time. He's reading. Let's work on my Winnie the Pooh story. Which book? Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. My father was trying to switch so you could see Winnie the Pooh. There, now can you see Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Duncan's Winnie the Pooh Adventure. One day, Winnie the Pooh was walking through the woods, and he said, Hi, Tigger. Do you like my balloon? And Duncan Tigger jumped up behind a tree and said, Surprise! Then Winnie the Pooh started to float away with his balloon, and Duncan Tigger said, I'll help you. Jacob's been taking a bunch of cooking classes lately, and last night he made French toast with like a strawberry glaze on top. And we're gonna feed the tops of the strawberries and some extra strawberries to our chickens right now. Did you get an egg? Yeah. Nice. All right, we're on walk number two for the day for this little guy. And Duncan's in his nap. And I have the older kids with me here. And we're just going on a, a nice little walk, the afternoon walk. We might even go on another walk after this, I'm not sure. Yeah, because Luke loves them. Luke loves them and Duncan likes them too, so. Yeah, they are really fun. If Duncan wakes up from his nap and says, let's go on a walk, how can I say no? <laughs> of course we're gonna go on a walk. Can you just say no? I guess, I guess yes, verbally, I could say no. I could also shake my head non-verbally. So there's a couple ways I could say no, but I'm not going to say no is my point. I'm gonna say, yeah, sure, let's go we on that walk. We found a creature. See, you never know what you're gonna find on these walks. This is a yellow grasshopper. Thanks. So cool. We are back from our walk. Luke's having a little snack. An apple. Is he yummy? Can you give daddy a bite? Uh, no, you're not gonna give me, okay. Jacob's in a class over there. Parker's taking an acting class. Duncan's still in his nap. I'm gonna start on dinner. The kids requested tacos, cause it's Taco Tuesday, obviously.
Anytime I'm doing something with ground beef, I try and up the iron intake just a little bit by adding spinach to it. So I always chop up spinach really fine, throw it in, and whether I'm making a hamburger or tacos or something else, like pasta or something like that, spinach usually gets snuck in there. It's a little sneaky dad hack. I guess it, it could be a mom hack too. Anybody can do this, not just dads. You guys wanna see a little trick I like to do with the taco shell box? Yeah, you do. See how my taco trays keep all the tacos upright so all the stuff stays in them? Genius. How's your math class today? Good. Is it like an, it's an art math class, right? Yeah. I drew this picture and then I also drew this one. And I'm working on shading this one in and I'm not sure if I can do it. Hoping I can, but I'm supposed to make it look 3D and I'm not sure it's 3D yet. Are you ready for Taco Tuesday? Oh yeah. You still wearing your Taco Tuesday socks? Jacob, you were wearing them earlier in the day. They were the inspiration for Taco Tuesday. They get sweaty? All right, that's fine. It's better to have dry feet than to match your socks to your food. Bailey's been working on her Simply Piano. Oh my gosh, I'm all caught up. Oh, nice. So I did this a really long time ago, but then the piano got like really out of tune. It's still a little out of tune. I actually started the process of tuning the piano yesterday. I took it all apart and um, figured out how to tune it. And I tuned all the strings and then they kind of fell out of tune again, which is typical with a piano this age as well as one that's been out of tune for as long as this one has been. I'll continue to tune it like every other day or every week or something like that until it holds its tune. Should happen eventually. So while everybody was having Taco Tuesday, I actually snuck upstairs and took a shower, um, which I usually do in the night, like after the kids are in bed. But um, since they were having tacos and I don't eat red meat, I was just like, I'm gonna sneak away. <laughs> I needed a little time. Duncan and Luke just took a little bath together. Duncan's actually still in the bath. Lukey is getting all toweled off and he's so cute. He says it's a lamb. Look at this cutie lamb. All toweled off. Yeah, let's take that off. Here's her book. Oh, there's another book. We're gonna brush her hair. Ooh, fancy. Look at this. Look at that hairdo. Oh my goodness. I like how it gets longer. Look at you. A handsome boy. Oh, you look very nice. You look very handsome. Do you want to brush your hair? Yeah, very nice. So nice. You want to brush mama's hair? Ooh, thank you. Ooh, so nice. Hello. Brush some more. 
Thank you for being gentle with my hair. Ooh, so handsome. Hey, what just happened? I just lost a tooth. You just lost, did you have a wiggly tooth? What's going on? Was it wiggly earlier today or just you like? You haven't lost this one before, right? I don't think so. Okay, what? I did not know you were, like had more teeth. So do you, are you gonna lose that one too? I guess so. All right, well, congratulations. You're very toothless on the side. Open your mouth. Like, that's a lot of missing teeth, dude. You went to the orthodontist today. Did they say it was wiggly? I figured out it was wiggly. Yes. Okay, all Mr. Right. Ready for Bed. You're all ready for bed? Which book are we gonna read tonight? Two books? These are, were his morning books. He decided on box and socks. Box, socks, box, Knox. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew sir with the goo goose. Chew sir, do sir. The end. Good story. All right, now it's time for Duncan to go to bed. And a funny thing happened during his nap time today. So I read him a story or a chapter from a story every night. And we just finished this book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, part of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Did you like it? And in our box set, we have the next book, which is Prince Caspian. I was supposed to read this to him during his nap time, but he took it to the restroom with him to look at the cover, I think, and uh, dropped it in the toilet. Yeah. So, Did that literally happen? it literally happened. I think it's dry enough now that we can read it, but it was too wet to read during <laughs> during nap time. There wasn't any pee pee in the toilet, right? No pee pee. Okay, that's good. I I had just cleaned that toilet recently, so. Doesn't smell bad, but um, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands after every every uh, chapter with this one. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna read Prince Caspian. So usually for this part of the night, the big kids are either doing any schoolwork that they didn't finish or doing some sort of quiet activity. Right now they're kind of doing a loud activity, but it's in the garage, so it's okay. They're playing a little foosball. Who's winning? Oh, Jacob just got a point. So they're gonna do that. I'm gonna go edit, and then um, we're gonna call it a night. <laughs>